Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're uh, finding some videos useful and helpful. Uh, today, what we're going to do is, uh, we made that baker top the other day, uh, and I just whipped out a ring kind of showing uh, what, uh, what it kind of looks like when you're working on it, uh, if it will load up here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, so I made, I made something like this here. Uh, with that baker top very easy just put uh, two rails out there uh and uh, outside rail inside rail and then uh, sweep it and then add your stones and add your uh, uh, uh baker top in there and then put your stones and i did a cut out to make it hollow right so that's uh, that's just kind of one real quick uh, thing that you can do that's pretty cool uh and then of course if you go to your tools and you go to tech report it'll lay everything out here for you uh all the stones weights and everything like that but remember uh if you uh if you have your uh stones set to uh the um just the v-ray stones uh, these things down here uh the rendering materials only they will not show up in the tech report it won't give you any weight or so you need to make sure you switch it back to the other gems and the other metals to uh get those to uh a print for you uh but uh i wanted to show you one more uh, you know we made that baker top right so that's one style there's all different you can make triangles you can make ovals you can you can make all kinds of things uh and those are good ideas to have it but i do want to show you one other thing that you can do uh that's already in here uh so we're going to go to planar and we're just going to draw a plane out there I'm going to select the plane, go to my transform, and then go to smart, smart pattern, right? And you actually have uh, what looks like or is pretty close to a baker top in there. So we lay that out there. All you have to do is go to one and then go to one and you have a baker top out there for the most part, right? You'll have to do a little manipulation. So let's go ahead and hit enter, take that. Let's get rid of that piece there and let's go ahead and... Uh, Put this in our center and do a little manipulation with it so that we can make it uh, more square. Well, if you want a uh, rectangular, you could do that there. But you can still alter it. Just go in here and uh, kind of get it to the shape that you want, right? So that's more of a square. Now, as you can see, is this a little... Uh, Mm, uh, not real I, mean, I guess if you don't mind that that's fine but it's a real quick way to fix it you can just go to your uh circle here and then uh in the center i'll change this to yellow uh and then go center just kind of draw a little circle out there uh and then uh go to layer where you can see it of course and then i'll take that circle and then i'll go to my solids go to uh extrude uh planar straight kind of draw it up click off of it click on it drag it down in there and then just do a, a boolean difference real quick with this and this and hit enter get rid of that get rid of the circle get rid of the old surface and now you have this you can save to your library right uh to make whatever you want uh, and we're going to make something real quick with it since we have it out here and as you can tell it's a little thin so we want to thicken it up a little bit before we save it or whatever just uh you can make it however thick you want you know just dragging down like that uh and we'll just keep it there for right now and a real easy way i'll just do a real easy way here uh we'll go to our tools uh, we'll go get uh, a, a ring rail and we'll th we're going to use a men's ring we use this as a men's ring so let's take it up to size uh 10 and a half usa and uh we'll just go ahead and go to our signet ring right first we want to accept that and we got our signet ring out there uh advanced signet ring and we'll just go ahead and change that top profile uh to this one here right real easy right uh and then we have this out here and we'll just go ahead and take that for right now we'll take this and we'll just drag it up kind of get it to where we want as far as look wise uh, and then we'll just take this and we will go back and do a little editing uh, and we'll bring it in some. We don't need it so wide there on the side, say, let's say we don't need it so wide there. We just want a little bit of uh, uh, outside uh, roundness to it. Uh, and uh, the side, 
let's go in here and kind of spruce that up a little bit what we got down here three let's take it out to around a four so that's fine and our thickness 1.8 let's make that my 2.5 and we'll drag that out to 2 2.5 as well uh, so something like that right we got a nice little men's ring going on uh and uh you know there's all kind you can manipulate it any way you want here you can change the side uh, profile to something else maybe i don't know uh something like that perhaps <laughs> let's go back and change it uh, let's do something like this here see what it looks like yeah that looks cool all right so something like that if you wanted and then hit enter right and now uh we we want to go ahead and maybe get rid of this yellow hide it uh and do a little maybe clean up and manipulation now in order to get that uh rid of that you can either just do a cutter you can do a hollow you can do you can cut it out uh, there's all kinds of different things you could do you could actually just if you wanted to you could whoop, wrong one uh you could take a line curve right and kind of draw a cross hold down shift and then just go to your uh, project go this curve enter this surface enter and then right here direction to project uh we want to direct it to project active viewport which is our front and it'll hit enter and it'll slap that on there right slap that on there and then what you can do is you can take that curve oh okay it's got we want to select the one so hold down shift and control select that one and you could just uh well, first you want to drag it up and then you'll want to uh, go ahead and go to your solids, go to project straight down. So it's something like that. And then you could do uh, a little, let's see, let's get our, let's go ahead and hide this here real quick. Uh, and let's take this from our top view so we can kind of see what's going on here. Hold down shift and kind of bump it out to where it's, kind of close to our edges there right uh and then we'll bring back that ring and you can just do uh do a boolean difference right uh, enter enter give it a second oh i did it too fast click here enter enter and enter and then we get rid of that we'll hide this for a second and you have a cut out there that you're you can lay your uh object on there and you can just do another cut out if you wanted to to have a little indentation there to lay that up on <clears throat> but we're going to do a little more manipulation so we're not going to go there yet uh, now uh, a little cleanup work right so we can go to our fillet edges or blend edges rather uh, chain edges and we'll select this right here and go ahead and hit enter and it's a 0.6 we'll see what it looks like uh, it looks good We'll hit enter so we rounded those edges off a little bit we'll right click bring that back uh select okay so we want to select chain edges so right click chain edges we'll go here uh and that's good and we'll hit enter and we'll take this one to let's try uh let's try bump well let's keep it at six right now 0.6 see what it looks like and actually that's not too bad we'll just go ahead and leave it take it and then we'll go ahead over here chain edges get these here get that edge there hit enter enter and enter and close that out now we'll probably have an open poly yeah we have an open poly service so it real this is real easy to fix so just go to your edit uh, show edges and right there those are real easy to fix so let's go ahead and do that so we'll go to join naked edges Join two naked edges, that one there, that one, this one here, that one there, close it off. Right click, bring it back, that one there, this one here, click it off. Right click, bring it back, there, there, and one more. Right click, bring it back, there, and there, and there. Now we have a cl closed poly surface, so we're done with that. 
and now all we need is to get a gym out there right get a gym so we'll go to gyms uh we'll just throw one on the center plane and we'll or c plane and we'll drag it up and we'll kind of get it in a size we want let's go to the top here oh yeah that's pretty good and check it out drag it down a little bit maybe a little bit more yeah there we go and then we'll go ahead and hit uh enter and then we'll just go ahead and slap a uh, setting on there right so we'll go to setting we'll go to our x and we'll just take that to as close as zero we'll kind of uh, bring those prongs down a little bit they don't need to be so high uh, we'll get rid of that rail so we'll go up here to our rail count do a zero and we will drag those up into our head okay so they just disappear and it looks they actually look okay and boom you have a nice little gen string real quick right very quickly and you could do all kinds of things you can make a cut out here and put some stuff in there you could do some under gallery work there make it more of a ladies type style if you wanted to uh, there's all kinds of things you could do with it uh, but just wanted to throw that up there with the baker top very quick easy way to make a, a nice little gents ring and of course you can hollow that out very easily just make a duplicate if you wanted to cut more of it out make a duplicate and uh, do a uh, you know before you make that cut there you'll want to uh do that uh so let's go ahead and take this let's turn this to this color and let's hide it real quick hide okay and show hide 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 oh my god okay show let's put it on here yeah yeah but uh you know that'll slide right down in there you can uh tap it in you could actually angle that a little bit if you wanted to uh you could maybe even do a let's try here let's see what it looks like go to our surface do a boolean difference with this here enter enter and do we have a little ledge there yeah just a little one yeah very little uh but uh that's uh i mean that's another thing you can do is not maybe not make that first cut out so uh thick the same size make it a little thinner and then use this to drop down and uh make a little ledge for it to lay on you could do that too uh and then just you know do the assembly tweezers to solder on there if you wanted it uh, a different color metal uh like this usually it's the other way around usually this one is white and this one okay so i got two surfaces out there this one is yellow usually that's the way it is but that doesn't mean it has to be right so hopefully this kind of helps uh, just give you a little idea of uh, other things you can do with those baker tops there's a lot you can do uh, so hopefully it helps and if it does please leave a like share and uh, leave a comment below thanks for watching